Imagine you could make your whole animation better with a single frame. That's the whole point of using smear frames in After Effects, and there is actually a really easy way to create smears in After Effects, but, and this is a big but, I've seen it taught incorrectly and used incorrectly so many times. So I wanna take us on a short journey where we can talk about why this technique exists, look at some examples so that when we actually get into After Effects, we can use them correctly for maximum impact. And I promise it will not only be interesting, but fun as well. Smear frames originated in hand-drawn frame-by-frame animation, and there's a reason for this. Smear frames are designed to simulate the motion blur you get in live action video during a very fast movement. Now, I can already hear the gears turning in your little heads, and I know exactly what you're gonna ask me next. But Cameron, why do we need to use smear frames in After Effects when we can just use motion blur? We do not use motion blur. We do not talk about motion blur. Using motion blur is motion design blasphemy. Okay, okay. To be fair, it has its place in VFX and compositing, but if you're doing 2D animation, leave it off. And use smear frames instead. So now that we know why they exist, let's look at some examples to show how they're generally being used. And if you've never taken a close look at some of your favorite animated shows, you're in for a treat. Just looking at screenshots of smears is really fun. The unrealistic distortions, playfulness, even plain weirdness of these frames is just really appealing to me. And the way they capture and enhance movement is just so creative and a treat to look at. I just love looking at smear frames. But for our purposes, it's best for us to actually look at the smears in context as a full action. So here are some moving examples. And what I want you to notice with these is that they're used for very fast movement. Movements. And this is done to help the audience, us, read the animation properly. You can see in some of these examples that smears are used to connect poses that are very different. And the smear is necessary to bridge the gap so that we can understand the movement. In many of the SpongeBob examples, you'll see that there is literally just a single smear frame between two drastically different poses. Using smears can also save time and budget, as you can sell an action with less drawings. But these days, it is often used as a stylistic choice. The result is a very snappy style of animation, which may not be what you're looking for with every animation, but you can't deny that it has a certain charm to it that goes beyond its practical benefits. You can also start to notice a few different types of smears, like stretches and repetitions, and there are many permutations of these types as well. And just in case you are starting to forget that this video is about smears and After Effects, here are some motion design examples as well. One more note I want to make is that smears should not be overused. You should think carefully about the speed of the action, as well as whether a smear will enhance the readability and overall aesthetic of your animation. Before we move on, if you found this video interesting or useful, tap that like button so I know you're enjoying it so far. Now let's finally get into After Effects because that's where everything we've just learned is gonna pay off. So for starters, let's keep it simple with the circle character. So if I wanted to add a smear to this, firstly, I would want my action to be fast enough to warrant it. So let's start with this. Now in my opinion, it doesn't matter how you create the smear frames, as long as they fulfill their purpose. So I could create my smear frames separately, like this, and then I could simply cut to those two frames during our animation, and then cut back to our character, like this. Look at that sexy smear. Mm. Another way I could do it is by using path animation on the circle and the face. And this is what that would look like. And of course, the option that you choose will depend on your context and whatever animation you're trying to create. But I did mention a really easy way to create smear frames, and that's using the echo effect. But let's talk about that, because I have some issues. So here's what happens if I just drop in an echo, change the echo operator to maximum, add two zeros to the echo time, and change the number of echoes to 100. And as you can see, it adds a smear across the whole animation and it's just too much. It contradicts the whole purpose of a smear frame, which as we now know, is to help sell a fast action and of course look good while doing it. And this just looks bad. Let's put it this way. Imagine you are animating this frame by frame. Do you think you would add a smear frame to the anticipation and settle? Hell no. Instead, we should animate the echo so that it only appears where we want it. Like this. 
and in most cases your smear should not be longer than 2 frames. And look how much better that looks. The top character is getting all muddy with all the extra information, but the bottom one is clean and the smear makes the animation more dynamic and interesting. Now if you're thinking to yourself right now, I don't want to add any extra keyframes to my echo effect, well, I got you covered. Battleaxe has created a free tool called Schmear, which allows you to automate the process by adjusting smear length and distance threshold to get your desired result. I hope this has inspired you to start using smears in a more thoughtful way to enhance your own animations. And before I release you back into the wild world of motion design, I have a bonus for sticking around so long. You can grab these project files with everything we created for free, and I'll even include this little guy. Link in description, you're welcome. I've been doing this motion design thing for over seven years now, and I've learned a thing or two along the way, and I'd love to share some of that knowledge with you. So hit subscribe to gain more motion XP.